Right. Couldn't but there's only the four of you, so be interesting. Mm. Well, Chess has reset for, I think, like, two. Why can't I see Lone Wolf's icon? Because he's not he has, logged in yet. Because he's not logged in That's yet. That's a good reason. No, I have logged in. I've just uploaded. I'm, I'm, I'm... It's his character. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on. Right. So, I do there you are. in mid fight. So, uh, it's a big bad sort of. Uh, you, you defeated. You defeated. Uh, and they sin, and then suddenly. She, and Dacian came back again. Hmm. Yeah, she did. So she did a kind of a, was it the Hellboy Rasputin type thing? So we killed her, out, out crawled to this thing. Something like that, yes. How big is it, by the way? That's a good question. Um, well, it's, I, it's, it's, looks like it's at least size four. Based on the grounds that it takes up. That's why I'm asking. Size four large. Mm-hmm. Okay. Haptics are broken. Eyes out. Very, uh, very Yes. It. For more than one. Several. Have a look at the stuff. particular type in mind. I'll probably able to. Okay. Uh, tactics as part of a transformation game. So, let's see. Uh, size for Dwarf Gogra is a towering monster of ectoplasmic flesh. Of what? Ectoplasmic flesh. Ooh. Yeah, there appears to be an, appears to be an image. Did I get my... Ray, have you been sleeping with it? Ray. <laughs> what to work that one out? Um, I have a feeling. Oh well, not to worry. Um, yes, new round. A new round. Oh, a joker. A joker? Jack. Mm, joker, it's a jack. Okay, I am... Um... I'm docious. I thought I heard a, a Jimmy Munker in the background there. I got very confused for a second. I thought... Oh, I have a He's shouting loudly from a train somewhere. <laughs> right, uh, okay. Uh, so, unless anyone wants to spend some bennies to move up the combat tracker, obviously, you're mid fight, so you're not getting new cards or bennies until the end I of the spend encounter. The benny. Spend the benny for me, I'll be there soon. Benny left. Get a joker. You want to spend a benny, dear? Where am he I? has no you're bennies on the left. Space. God. Three. Yeah, I'll spend a benny. Got no bennies left. What kind of a game is this when they've got no bennies? Well, you got up to the eight, which is still after the bad guy. How many bennies left? Five left. Five now. The bennies uh, must flow. What's the bad guy? Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Hard computer. Don't need to work out. Well, I must. I can't believe I missed out a whole graph graphic. Oh, no. It's pretty gruffs. <laughs> Groff. It was a groffling, Ferzen. Okay, Is it gruffalo? Groff, groff. Right. There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, Christ, they're doing Lord. Oh, Crimson Throne. I don't know why, but my. Slowed down since I. 
my wonderful new expensive switch is slowing it all down. No! No, 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 no. What do you mean there's nothing in the folder? Uh, artwork. Let's try on let's try the artwork folder. Have you tried refreshing it? I think it's since I tried to be clever and decided, oh look, my NAS box has got four um my NAS box has got four uh network ports. Maybe I should just use all of them. <laughs> it, I won't get four times the speed, but I, in theory, you know, it can do multiple things at once. I think multiple things at once, but it seems to be doing it slower, which is Your voice <sighs> is a bit cutty and outy. Why? My noise guy. I can see someone's spending cup and he's in the background there. Yeah, I failed miserably. Uh, <sighs> I'll export quick export no save save a copy. Oh, that is awful. It's like I'm getting half of every word you're saying, Kev. Just use everybody and get half of everything. I'm do saying. seem to be cutting out of it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Seem to be. You know, that cut, guy cut. with a microphone that used to be on the TV yeah. in the eighties. Yeah. 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 You should. And and and. And then she and it fell on the floor. And, uh, two ponies. Oh, and good. Funny. Yeah, I remember yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, and it was there uh, and funny. Well, I'm it's done it. Right and, and then it was all over the place. Uh, the cats. I'm just going to call it inspiration for Rowley Burke and QC. I must have missed that. Rowley Burke and QC. And so we went and then found something, and there was a great big elephant gun. Very, very drunk. Actually, the guy that the inspiration for that, there's a video with him in it, and he is like that in real life. Oh, that my. just sounds like the compare at the end of the original uh, Tubular Bells. Very drunk person on that. Sounds just like that, that just like you just Alan did. Alan Rickman. Hang on, no, you're talking no, the original no. Tubular Bells? Original Tubular Bells, not, not Tubular Bells 2 or 3, which had, one had, they had different compares, the original compare. There's a, a hit, an extra trap that it, it basically, he's walking around the house and he's very pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the actual original album, it's like in the, I think it's in the, in the re-release, it's one of those bonus tracks. There you go, and that's Tubular what I'm Bells trying to do. Tubular Bells 2, they didn't know who was going to actually be doing it. So he's uh, credited as a wandering player because Alan Rickman recorded one, Billy Connolly recorded one, so did a couple of other people. Anyway, that's, there's your picture. That's what. Uh, that's... I should totally. God. No, that's what she looks like. Am I still cutting out out of interest? Yes. And um, that picture hasn't appeared. Yes, also. What the hell's going on with my bandwidth? I've got, <laughs> I've got no, it's got those what's going on. My, uh, yeah, bandwidth is absolutely amazing right now. Mm. Got half a gig going Ooh. up. Oh, his bandwidth keeps going up. Oh, no, no, my, 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 my up speed is 500 megabits a second, so there shouldn't be any cutting out of crap at all. 500 megabits suits you, sir. Right, I think oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to assume it's Discord playing up and reboot that because that's what you're listening to me on. That sounds like a good idea. Reboot? Oh. <laughs> They're quite mad, aren't they? Right, sorry guys, we'll get on with the adventure now. Now we've got all the technicalities out the way. They can't hear me, but you can, so it's fine. Ah, right. Come on. Service industry do you work in? Do I, is, is that any better? I'm not sure yet. Probably. So far, so good. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled pepper. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled pepper. Where's the pick of pickled pepper? Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled pot of pickled penises from a peck of pantry. <laughs> right, okay. okay. That's not so exactly I'm not a pheasant right. plucker. I'm a pheasant <laughs> plucker's son. Yes, oh, that's... I thought our, I thought our crazy um, dictionary professor was the only one that actually knew that and he did it as a joke. <laughs> no, it's it's only plucking but... pheasants till pheasant hunger comes. Say that very carefully. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, well, it, when, um... yeah, when you're in a group and you're supposed to be repeating it as a group, you have a lot of screw 
Moses. Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously. Erroneously, yes. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slit the sheet I sit. <laughs> <laughs> the one I oh, always did, I, I, I hated this. Sorry, off to you. My, my favorite was always a fairly long one, though. The, oh, what did you do to die today in a minute or two till two? A thing distinctly hard to say, yet harder still to do. So we'll be the tattoo at 20 till two. Arrest, ta 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 <laughs> And the dragon will come when he hears the drum at a minute or two till two today. At a minute I've never heard that one. It's really cool. I like that one. Mm. Sounds very Alice in Wonderland. You'll have to send that as text because it didn't all come through. But I'd love to work. Uh... Say that to my son next time. Vessel with the vessel was the brew that is true. Uh, the the whole point of that one was to get us to like enunciate those T's. I must admit, the only one I was saying that was how much wood could the wood chuck, chuck if it would chuck could chuck wood. He chuck as much wood as would chuck good if it would chuck good chuck wood. Anyway, Akira. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my turn. Yes, Anyone remember what that medium burst template was signifying? Uh, everyone in there gets an extra Benny, wouldn't it? it uh, was there a last stand fight? That's the last stand, isn't it? Plus two. Yes, it was last stand. Thank you. Well remembered. And it should be centred on Leah. It should be. Which, yeah, which, uh, which reminds me, actually, um, the... It, for, uh, a thousand gold apparently is ten dollars. We, we were talking about it the other day, weren't we, last week, about the Aura one. But I, I noticed on, he, on in 11 days' time on the 20th, he's doing a 50% sale, so that I'm waiting till then to buy it. Mm. <laughs> it only Because I've got 500 gold, and if it's 50% in 10 days' time, I could just buy it, <laughs> and then we'll have proper yeah. Aura. We'll have aura. You have Auras that you can put on your cells and follow around, but they won't actually do anything, but instead of us having to do it manually, it'll be automated. That's basically mm. all. That's what we'll get. Um, will yeah, it will indeed. What I need to do now is... Auras? What are you talking about auras? The extension auras that they're putting into the game? The extension. Not the one that actually does the auras, the one that basically puts a moving circle around them. Work with Savage Worlds, so. though. It will. Uh, well, you, yeah, you've used it. You've used, you use it in. Um, you use yeah, it but in it doesn't do the. It doesn't do the. Uh, doesn't do I, the. Um, that's what I said. The effects. Yeah, that one. We know okay. that. We don't need. I'm going to. I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, cast hinder, and uh, and entangle and uh, and no. What's the one? Not not. In, I'm going to entangle her with uh, fatigue. That's what I'm going to do. So what does last stand do? Plus two toughness and Plus parry. Two parry, I believe. What's really Until annoying? Is drawn. What really Maybe annoying close. is my extension. Yeah. My... Anything. That's okay. That's the God, please. Uh, that means she's bound. Uh -huh. Who's going to be bound? Bound? She will be bound. So you might want to target her before you press the button. Good idea. I just bound just... myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like doing that. Yeah. Oh, kinky. <laughs> okay, I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know. I didn't know Aki was that way inclined. So he he casts he casts a spell upon himself, but rendering himself totally helpless. That says beat me, beat me. <laughs> hmm. On the stick. I seem to have... Oh, no, that's the... Steam to have okay. lost my savage... Either you're cutting out again or you're stopped in the middle of a sentence. Oh, He's mumbling I'm, to himself while he's I'm doing looking, something else. I'm looking for extension... I'm looking for a module in extensions and getting very confused of why I couldn't find it. Uh, uh, when yeah. he don't talk, he murbles. Something like that. He murbles. He murbles. One of my favourite quotes from Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. So you have... Okay, are you doing anything else? 
Well, can you remove the entangle from me, please? I can see things. <laughs> okay. And then there you go. I shall pass this to Cease, and Cease is going to do something. He's going to attack, I suppose. Cease seems to have this smite thing on him twice. Extensions of all. Is you going to desist? He's on desist. Mm. There it is. There's the adventure deck. Start to get at it. Cease has got has got a smite on him twice, which needs to be removed. The police, one of them at least, anyway. Cease is happy with the shaker. Huh? Mm. Good. Thank you. <laughs> but he's happy with that. We were oh. both of those. That's the shake. That's that's four wounds, isn't it? With a shaking. So... No. No, it's still three. You've definitely picked up a bug in this campaign. Somehow I suspect she has the edge that makes her not take all that damage. Spend. Unstoppable. Or she could just soak nearly all the webs. That was. Because I just give her fatigue, see? That was part of the reason why I put the fatigue on. And, and while, while you're here, go in, in the map and draw a letter. Draw a tick mark on the map. If you can, but I suspect you can't. Yeah, drawing mode is not working. Is that because it's switched off? Oh, whoa! But ping mode is. Ping. Drawing, oh, mode is work. drawing mode is working beautifully. Not for us, it's not. Yeah, but it's because I have to turn it on. Mm. Right, so you've got it turned off in the campaign, is that what it is? Yeah. Right, okay, it's fine. But it ping mode. a doodle on his maps. It goes ping! Ping. Uh, goes ping. Hold, down the hold down the space bar and double click. That's the shortcut for ping mode. <clears throat> because, because people literally can't hold turn two mouse buttons and go. <laughs> I, the one that really annoys me is they've stopped, they've they've changed it. She so can't use the space bar anymore when painting when line of sight. You don't have to, uh, when you do ping, you don't have to erase the arrow afterwards. But no, the really annoying thing is they've swapped out space bar for line of sight to the plus button on a numpad. So one, I don't have a numpad on my keyboard, but two, that's a very candid way to sit with right with both hands over on the right hand side of your keyboard, unless of course you're left-handed with the mouse. But you know, if you're not, it's a left-handed layout that is, I'm afraid. The mouse on the left hand side and your right hand to use the plus on the numpad is great. But if you're right-handed, you're now just all twisted up. So I'm actually going to actually work that's right. I'm, I'm actually going to have to. I'm actually going to set up a back row of my. Um, <laughs> Tartarus that when Fantasy Grounds is running, the space bar, the Tartarus will be the numpad plus key, just so I can don't have to be handed when doing line of sight. Anyway, that yes. What are you up to, sir? Yeah, if I use the space bar for line of sight, I've been doing it with mouse. Uh, so... No, I, I find basically what you're going around something, you're going click, 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 double click by mistake, and then you then you have to fat, try and join it all up. But if you go around the space bar, you don't make that mistake. Well, you know what I mean? It's it's a strange one. Because the double click stops drawing lines. Even if you double click with a space bar, it will keep stay in line drawing mode. It took me it took me it took me twice as long today to draw some LOS because I couldn't use the space bar because I'm terrible at double clicking when I don't mean to. It's a practice your double clicking skills. 
Mm-hmm. So Thaddeus, just... can you kill her? Uh, I'm just thinking whether or not... Okay. Pew, 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 pew. I actually don't... We'll go, we'll go to there. Go to there. Uh... Uh, right. Just shoot an arrow at her. Oh, shooting ticks. If it will stop. Any time. Should have shot her in the eye. Nice. Uh. Terrible damage, terrible damage. Uh, toughness at 18 won't, won't make a difference anyway. Not worth a penny. So, because I'm low on power points, and then the... One, the nearest one will... Uh, devil one... No longer stunned. stunned. Will be no longer stunned. Uh, so he'll just do a melee attack. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> Still while well lying down, so he gets a minus three. I was <laughs> removing the prone, but he rolled it before I could remove it. Uh, it one, he ain't going to hit anyway. Um, I've discovered a nice new feature in the new combat tracker it always folds away the effects hmm. so helpful so you have to turn the effects on to, to remove some effect on every npc that's so helpful <laughs> how neat of it i'm super <laughs> slow today if you don't start i got me got myself in the wrong speed uh, so the far away devil is going to roll up an intimidation check just to see if it, well, it's a success, but I don't think it'll be intimidated. Not even, not even the slightest bit poked out. Only just. Only just now. Really? Rolled bad. Rolled poorly. Rolled minus four because it's a... Fatigue doesn't affect intimidation, so it was. I know, nice. I know, fatigue. Right. Why is she showing fatigue's minus three? She is not. She's not. It's fatigue minus, minus one, one, comma, entangle, comma. All oh, right, fair enough. Hey, you're up. Hey. <clears throat> He knows what I'm doing. I assume you're just pouncing on her tail. <laughs> Anything she can reach, I think. Because if you yeah. did, I did I share the piggy? Because that's what she looks like. I don't think I shared it, did I? There you go. Oh, she's got a scythe for an arm. That is it's cheating. About that. Can't disarm her. Can it? Rip it out of the elbow. Yeah, I wouldn't be standing too close to it if I was you. Which part of her I intend to dismember her? Well, she did just do four wounds with a single hit. Mm hmm. My eyes are sharp claws. Yeah, she only has a single wound. And I take it these devils are friends of yours, Thaddeus. I'm going to spend one more Benny on her. This time I'm going to give it. Uh, yeah, with the devil. Yeah, the devils have popped in for a laugh. Okay, she's taking a wound there. 
It's a wound. Um, Majenko, is that an actual water fountain there? I think it's a fountain of gribbly disease stuff, isn't it? Oh, we don't want that then. Um, okay. Majenko is going to buzz past and do a breath attack, see if he can stun her. At the room centre, riding from a wide pool of crystalline water, is a golden statue that is erotic and horrifying. Mm. So he does say it's crystalline water. Okay. I haven't had a chance to look about yet, because we haven't been in combat since we got you. Uh, she has been hit by Bajenko's breath weapon. Flies up and coughs in her face. <laughs> That's a four. Fine. You just draw that just now, Kevin. It's amazing. What? The picky. <laughs> now I've got to edit too much. Gastus. Well, Gastus is going to uh, have a bit of a, a stab around her nether regions. Rude. Well, he can't reach anything reach else, can he? <laughs> dirty bugger. Although she doesn't appear to have much there. It kind of fuses. doesn't appear to be... Um... Well, she's not atomically equipped, you know. So... I'm going to see if I can discombobulate her in that case. Well, discombobulating is always... You're in the knee. That's where it is. You don't need knees. I... She used to be an adventurer. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do the damage for that one first. And for my second trick, will not bother with a Benny on that. Well, he's used his conviction and I made him use a Benny. <clears throat> Since she's fully bound and therefore she's distracted and vulnerable already, I think that Argenia is also going to try what Majenko did. That's timing, Robert. You got here just as your turn's about to come up. And is also going to attempt to stun there. Two drive by coughings. <laughs> fly by. Two fly by coughings. It's oh. fine, she'll run out of the bennies eventually. <laughs> it's just a vulgar. Okay, Vorka is going to scooch around the fa fountain. I definitely don't want to get that on me. Crystalline okay. water. Yeah, sure, mm. whatever. <laughs> and, and I will smack her with my sword. Raise. Yeah, I think I can do better than that. Come on. Boy, not really, huh? Mm. Okay. Wow. Now let's let's try one more since I've got the race on this. Let's try one more. See if we can 
make this something that actually... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now she actually has to pretend like I did something. <clears throat> and Porker shouts out, I'm contributing! <laughs> oh, Sassafras is still feeling a little embarrassed about the mistake she made earlier, so she's going to spend it. Please, please, please spend And she's going to die bolting me. No, I'm not good enough. I'm going to Benny that one time. Better. I'm still unharmed, but I'm not going to Benny it again. And now Rudy, being a fairy dragon and not having a lick of sense, is going to go perch on her right shoulder and bite her ear. <laughs> going to stay on her shoulder knowing that he, she can't use that, or on her left shoulder, because she can't use that right hand to swing at him because she'll cut her own throat. <laughs> Mind you, that shoulder looks a pretty heavily up, heavily covered in armor, according to the eye. He's, he's going for the he's going for the ear. It's opening NPCs faster, Kevin. Mm. Uh yeah, Volker, you need to uh, basically roll your damage field for the devil and our genia. Oh, that's true. And I and I sin. Hits with rays, nice. Give you a Benny Gastus for reminding me to hurt you hurt, hurt the party. Hmm. Yeah. Doopy dooby doop doop. Oh, for a second there, I thought Rudy was actually gonna do some damage. <laughs> Well, he has done in the past, but that's uh, but he's gonna stay perched okay. right there. And, okay. you know, uh, Dyson, I, I, thanks I, I for damage. To, um, I hate to say this, Volker, but you've also got conviction running, so there's an extra d6 to add to all of these damage rolls as well. So okay. five is still not gonna do anything. Not to Dyson, no. And oops. Devil one. Devil one is gonna take ten. 11, 11 points of points. damage. So let's just do a slash DMG 11 and then drag and drop that on devil number one. Uh, devil one is, is incapacitated by that. Our genie will take 10. Uh, that's our genie incapacitated as well. Uh, actually, uh, our genie will attempt soak roll because uh, you did give me beast bond, so I will spend my Benny. Yeah. To try and soak for our genie. Seems sensible and uh, perfectly allowable because you. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Using your beast bond, you shout the genie get out of there just as Vorka uh, comes. Just as Vorka explodes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Vorka looks over at the devil and kind of shrugs and then looks at our genie and gets his, this this look of, oh my god, what have I done on his face? <laughs> but no one's saying that the biddies flow, so... <laughs> and a joke has really, been drawn. Really. A joke has been drawn, so well, the last stand goes... Yep. Yeah. Oh, Vorka, you evil so and so. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, I get a Benny, uh, Dacian gets a Benny, and all of you lot get Bennies. And then last stance is gone. Indeed. So Bork is up first. Okay, Bork will stop, start by dropping his damage field. I think it was supposed it. to end this round anyhow. So It was, yeah. Yeah, so, and now we will go ahead and chop the the demon, or not demon. Yeah, what's your name? Don't and Dacian. Yeah, this. And Dacian, I'll say. And, and, and Dacian, yeah. And Dacian, yeah. That's what I'm going to call it. And Dacian. There we are. River Rays upon And Dacian. The Ergothor and Avatar. Actually, I don't know if uh, I don't know. Oh, if, I'm uh, definitely bending that one. I don't know if Orca's got see what she looks like. There she goes. Did you get the image there? <laughs> Let me share it for him. Only a shaken? Even with the Joker? No, I'm she... I'm gonna have to do that again. Good grief. Okay, I guess it just shook her. Man, I can't wait to Which is a shame because you can actually do multiple wounds to her this turn. Multiple yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, what the heck? One would think That's that between conviction point. and I I'd, I'd have a decent wounds. chance. So. Only if you're on a Joker. That was it. I knew there was a thing. Well, none of us are legendary to get that edge yet. Shame. You could have potentially destroyed her there in a single blow. Are you doing anything else, Walker? You know what? I think I will just go ahead and throw my last penny at this, because, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? There's a decent way. One wound soaked. One wound taken. Hey, okay. That's, that's, that's less pennies for him to keep her conviction going with. Yeah, exactly. So. You bet he's soaked. Okay. <laughs> oh, fine. Right. Uh, strength. Okay. Uh, strength to break. to raise so she she shatters the uh in tank the uh, binding and then i think we're going to just have to sweep of course she is <laughs> let's just talk hang on let's just target target enemy units and remove one. the ones that aren't in range yeah i think that's the way i'm going to do this one Target enemy units. There we go. And then, okay, Aki's out of range. Thaddeus is out of range. Uh, Sassafras is out of range. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Everyone else is in range. That's a frenzied sweep. Bachi. Not really. Because you can't combine friends. I know. Speak. I realised that after I said it. Therefore, it's just the first one, which apparently uh, she targeted herself for some reason. Not sure how that happened. Mm. So we'll if try she that was again. trying to target Rudy, Rudy was on her shoulder. Why was the devil killed and not shaken? Because it took a wound. It couldn't have done. Because he did 11 damage to a toughness of 9. Toughness of 7. I think they have. Yeah, toughness of 7. Got a, got, oh, right, that's in, right, okay, that's including that, that armor. Oh, and he, and he, the Vork has got AP 4 on him at the moment anyway. Even if they were uh, 9 with armor. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. Really fragile. Oh jeez, that's a big hit on Vorka. Oh no, that's a big hit on Cease! Oh. <laughs> okay, Cease takes four wounds. Leia takes three wounds. Nope. Devil 2 takes four wounds. 
Book is shaken. <laughs> And Cease does not take another four wounds, so I must have gone red. Have you told me how to get... You want to try again, babe? I'll try again. Okay, so I miss Gastus. Uh, I'll try again. Cease. One last attempt and then leave it. Okay. Bork is shaken. It. Let's deal with that. Let's clear the targeting, which goes with that. Then we shall move down. Sassafras... Uh, was nowhere near it, that's fine. Thaddeus. Oh, that was Devil 2 was incapacitated. That's Cease. That's taken three wounds. Uh, it's take, uh, what was Cease's? Have you done a Cease roll for soap? Uh, soap roll for Cease, I should say. Oh no, Cease is out of bennies. Oh dear. Cease is incapacitated. And there's my counter-attack on it. Raya takes one wound. Shot this. Okay. And then you do two wounds on her, so I'll spend my last here. There was an important word there. What was that? Last, Benny. Uh, Multi-action does not apply, well. so soaked everything. Right. That's a press. Yeah, I'm going to spend the penny to maintain my conviction. I just drop it in the conviction box, right? That's correct. And then I'm going to try bolting her again, because it's not like I missed her anything. Hit with a raise. Oh no. Ready at one time. Why my damage rolls have sucked? <laughs> well, because just because he can and he's being annoying. Given an end machine gun, it's full of battleships. Mm. It will hit him, it won't necessarily damage them. <laughs> Thaddeus. Evil Eye. Uh, start off with a stun spell. That's a three, isn't it? Because you got a raise. Uh, mm. Aye, so she's so she's failed, and now she's stunned. She is. Right, and then as a free action, I'll I'll try and make it worse, and send her to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. My lights are getting heavy. Calm down. Take it easy. Oh, and the night climbs up. Mm -hmm. She falls asleep for an hour. Everybody be really quiet now. No, she won't fall asleep for an hour because someone will hit her in a minute and that will wake her up. 
Bit doesn't kill her. I bet you could just walk up and coop, coop the grenades up there. Punch her coupon, go on. <laughs> A bunch of coupon. <laughs> Cease is, is bleeding out. Aye, Cease is bleeding out. That's what I mean. Go rescue Cease. He's got the time. He's got healing. All he's got to do is get to Cease and he uh, just touch he <laughs> Cease with some healing hands. Ah, uh, Cleric's useful because they can heal that range. <laughs> mm. What happened there, but anyway. It's extending my conviction a bit. Um I don't know why it maybe rolled I don't know why it rolled a D six for me is what I'd say, but anyway, go for it. That is a one wound healed, so that's enough to stop the incapacitation. To gate the healing out. Cease is on three wounds. Sorry. Mate, these Two powers wounds. are expiring, do they're not expiring yet, are they? Like the the uh, smite on everyone that I've cast. But they'll expand next round. Yeah. But then it'll ask <laughs> me to spend power points on it, yeah. Yes. Um, okay. So Cease is shaken. And then I'm going to do what I was going to do, which is a... Don't damage her. <laughs> Unless you're going to kill her. Because <laughs> she's unconscious, she's sleeping. Can walk up to and stab her in the face if you want to. Leia and Gastus are going one after the other. She's not going to survive to the end of the round. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm not going to uh, attack her then. I'm just going to um, I'm just, I was going to do a multi action, so now I'll use my other action, which is I'm going to heal Cease again. Yeah, go for it. I think be acceptable. That'll be a cute total heal. <laughs> total heal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, now Cease is back up in action, and uh, now is Cease allowed to attack her? Is Cease okay enough? He is now, yeah. Just healed cool. him fully back to Total the... Total healing on Cease. Zim Zim, eh? I would actually wait until you... Oh, no! <laughs> I can't hold her! <laughs> okay, just... Are we hit? Okay, good. There's a hit. Two hits, right. Better doing cold shots. Well, that wakes her up. But she's still stunned. She's still stunned. Leia is no longer shaken. Leia is no longer shaken. Good. She is bleeding. I am. Wounded. Mm -hmm. Well, since Cease is fine, why don't you have Majenko do what Majenko was going to do for Cease? Yeah, that's great. Majenko. Yeah. Majenko I... heals Leia. I forgot that that was even possible. It's innate, isn't it? It is. It just happens. Ooh. Then Leia will do up the other pounds. Healing minor, healing minor. Okay, so that's an, mm -hmm. it's an automatic healing of one wound without dice roll. Yeah. You can Benny that. That was pan. See it with a raise. You sure, you want to Benny hitting with a raise? Oh, well, in that case, no. Don't worry about it. I didn't think a one and a two was going to hit with a raise. Wow, damn. That's because we're all getting well, up on it and anything else. Mm. And she's grown. And Yeah, it does more damage not being knocked prone. Okay, so uh, 38 points of damage causes a wound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> Gaspis is going to stab her in the throat now that she's now that she's prone and all that. Prone and all that.
do not give yourself plus four damage for a cord shot. He's immune to additional damage. No, do not have weak shots. He does not. No additional damage from cold shots. Fair enough, fair enough. What's this wound, sir? I'll not bother with the cold shot though with the other hand then. That should finish her off then. In the old days, she'd have got back up again. <laughs> Do you remember that table? Mm. <laughs> she'd have got back up with that bigger roll. <laughs> I do miss that. Right. Congratulations. Right. So what does happen when you uh, do that bit? I need to reopen the map. I just closed by mistake. Oh, the pin's gone missing. Oh, there it is. Uh, inner sector. There we go. Now I can close the map. Uh, okay, so... Uh, well, you can have a description. Oh, I didn't need to close the map. Oh, I'm not closing the map. I want to move around. I mean, silliness you get up to. So I... Sure. Okay. Uh, unlock freedom of movement. Here the combat tracker. Reset beddies and adventure cards. I'm telling you right now, I'm doing that. If anyone wants to spend mm -hmm. any beddies, before, I'm about Why to reset beddies in five. Or hang on, let me open my character sheet. <laughs> hang, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Hang on, my character sheet's gone missing. Where's he gone? Hey, um, you know what? I uh, I search her. Have a spend a card. Damn it, he's close. I search her, and she's got a really cool thing. Oh, See? you got that one, have you? You've got untold treasure. What's the really cool thing? Name the item. Um, she has got an amulet of the undying. Not a sword of a thousand truths. Kev now has to make up what the amulet of the undying does. Okay, is everyone, I'm resetting Benny's if everyone's finished. Benny's have reset. Resetting adventure cards. Adventure cards have reset. Right. So they have. Items. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, amulet of the undying. It is. Let me deal with everything else, and then we'll worry about that one. Just remind me. So, um, intersectum. So obviously, uh, now everything's calmed down. Uh, each. So yeah. Sorry, I forgot. There's a paragraph missing, isn't there? It's read only. Right, so, uh, permission to panic now. So, what was it? The, the stuff we had walked into a room and there was four big the glass long things. That's not in this room. The long hall opens into a circular chamber rising into a high dome. That was the last room. Seven basins jut from the walls, ensconced within evenly spaced alcoves that circle the room. Each is filled to the brim with a unique liquid, blood, bile, milk, or other unidentifiable fluid. Each fills the air with its own distinct re creating a noxious eye-watering bouquet. On the floor around each basin lie several small empty boxes carved with an image of skulls. At the room centre, rising from a wide pool of crystalline water, is a golden statue that is both erotic and horrifying. The statue depicts a beautiful nude woman who is a human above the waist, but below this, the figure is nothing, is nothing more than a skeleton. 
So there you go. That was the description for this room. Yeah, but I was going to say, in the last room, there was four glass... Uh, that had uh, demons in. One of yeah, them. Yeah, that, had de that had but, dead demons in. Well, no, the problem is, it's in this room because we're wearing it. Hmm. So what... what because we've all been sprayed with... Egg, we've all been sprayed with goo. I know. So... So, what, 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 what did we catch? Just by right. No. Okay, so uh, that's straight. Kev made, 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 made us all make, make um, bigger rolls last week for that. Yeah, no, but I think don't, don't think we need a bath, like one, one thing at a time, Master Wild. So I need to find out which of these boxes hasn't been opened yet. Now, uh, just. Okay, so layer and fine. Okay, uh, layer and Vorka. Okay, find some Thaddeus, uh, Sassafras, Ponto, Rooty, Gastus. Cease. We'll take a wound. Who hmm. takes a wound? Uh, everyone except for Leia and Volker. You've all got. How does this? All got blood veil. Came on incredibly right. fast. Well, our genie will heal me. Not that it's going to get rid of the actual blood veil, but it should get rid of the wound. Our genie can get rid of the wound. It won't. It won't get rid of the. Yeah. So. Sure I'm very glad you've got the cure for this, Master Vorka, because <coughs> I'm not feeling so well. <coughs> yeah, maybe we should accept this really quickly and then vacate it. Oh, thank you, Argenia. That uh, makes me feel considerably better. Now, which of these boxes is unopened? And when I find the unopened box, Gastus Thanks. opens it. Okay, so copy paste seems to be broken on the combat tracker. That's helpful, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, has Bloodvale jumped the um, species barrier? Oops, got it. Except those people wearing plague masks. Uh, well, I was wearing a plague mask. Not on your inventory. I checked on the party sheet. Oh, carried by, sorry, not warm, equipped by. That's a stupid thing. In that case, if you've got a plague mask on, then you're okay. So I'll take it back, Gastus. You don't have to. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the bloody I, party, I, I, the party sheet doesn't tell me what you've got equipped. It only shows me what you're carrying. Annoying. <laughs> yeah, see, I have, a, I have a magical mask under my magical clothing section. Yeah, and I've got the same thing because I took one too. I was just carrying it when I. Did. I apologise. I used the party sheet to tell me you had plague masks, but obviously those uh, are people it carrying. It doesn't masks. call them plague masks. It calls them magical masks. Yeah, but it would tell me it would call them plague masks for me. I lost sound for a while there because I just had a bit of a glitch. Um, I don't know what you did regarding me, but although I have one, I wasn't wearing it. Oh, it's you. I have, you are. You do have blood veil. Okay, now let me try and sort these things out. Sorry, I'm getting very confused. Okay, so uh, we're in the center. So we've been finished. Seven fluids. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, Right, so you are looking for the unopened coffer. That's the one. One. Okay. Uh, hang on. One. 
empty unused death heads coffers discarded coffers identify so i'm going to grab that to take to the nose for it okay uh uh, and then if nobody else has got there, I'll have a quick look over this um, stack of stuff that fell off the priest, starting with the magical belt. I already dropped the... You did. Doesn't have... Comes back. So, I'll spend a penny on the belt. I identify the belt. Which I will grab. <laughs> and then I will identify the, uh, the headband. Oh, dear. Why don't you just identify the big scythe? Because I have no interest in the scythe. But, but it's dead. It's dead. Well, why don't you identify the scythe? Seems like your kind of thing. Well, I'm having a poke at it. Someone identified the sign, did they? Okay. Identify that. Vorka will identify the potion. And then I'll work on the breastplate. Now, we need to get out of here, get those of us that have been infected healed, and get as many members of the churches down here as we can to cleanse those vats of blood veil. I'm just sorting stuff out. Uh... You'll excuse me a moment, my friends. I believe I have a box to deliver. And Gastus will sprint off down the corridor to get rid of a vampire. Okie dokie. Um... Now, if it's open and unused, there's not much you can do about it to open it and uh, thwart the vampires by saying, well, I've brought you the box, but uh, if it's open and unused, I'll just have to hand it over. I'm going to chase after him because I want to. I want to save him. From me or the vampire? The vampire. Spell person. So what does he want the box for again? He's looking for a cure to vampirism. Uh, so he says. I know, but what does the box do? Transports diseases. A 
the moment, as long as it gets as far away from Corvosa as it can, I care little. Yeah, but it can, it, it be, can, it can be used to enchant items, can it not? Only okay. with diseases. One amulet of the undying. <laughs> In your inventory. Yeah. She picks soon as you pick it up, you feel absolutely compelled to put it on. Oh. Okay. Then I probably will. I can't even remotely read that. No, but uh, I can. I can copy it up for you, dear. Thanks. Something you, you can right. read. It's not really, I'm putting it in brackets because it's one of the, you know, it's like you won't really part with it, is what I'm trying to imply. It's not really, you know what I mean? Ah. I just need to check. Okay. Damage, what's your toughness? Your toughness. Okay, so damage 10 could hurt you. Right, let me give you an extra Benny for testing purposes. Uh, I'm just a word, error. Don't even look at this. Yep, that worked. I'm happy with that. Okay. Uh, okay. So there's a mithril chain shirt, two potions of major protection, and a, a scythe and an unholy symbol left in the body sheet. Are you doing anything else? Uh, is anyone else doing anything in this room? Or should I hit, uh, deal with heading back to uh, uh, to the place? Vampire. Obviously, the seven little vats are all. Um... Magical in, in one form or another, I presume. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes. So okay. That's all a highly uh, magical. I, I would I would like to see if it's possible to identify the diseases in each of those vats. Oh, they're all basically filled with extremely potent forms of blood veil. Okay. Each of the seven fluids in this room, each of the seven fluids in this room, has been used as a medium to create and spread a blood veil. Currently, all seven can basically it's pure, it's pure undiluted blood veil inflection fluid, basically. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can if... you can touch it if you want to be sure. Well, no the the initial <laughs> the initial communication made it sound like it was. There was like multiple nasties involved. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they were. They, I think the actual um, sort of onset of the disease and everything else were happening in different ways. Indeed, she. If you had actually sort of submitted to her, she would have stuck each of you. She would have made each of you. She would have fed each of you a different one of the fluids. Yeah, because she said you'd die most in, in the most interesting ways. But uh, yeah, and you might not have died. Yeah, basically, it's uh, yeah, very very infectious blood veil liquid. Okay. So that's it, really. Unless anyone's doing anything else in this room, get back to the vampire. No, I'll just gra grab the loot and escape. Um, okay. I think we need to gather around Vorka for it. For it. For it. I'm losing out on lots of lovely treasure. Righty ho. Okay, back to Z back to Z vampire. Uh. uh Yeah, still that one then. So, uh, anyway, I don't think there's anything for when you come back, but that's okay. I just needed to hear him for a second. So as you come back, he goes, Ah, I see you have returned, and you have brought the copper as... Take take the young man uh, as uh, I... Uh, uh, leave me to uh, pack up and leave this place. I will not carry longer than is necessary to pack up and leave. I... Thank you for uh, I thank you for retrieving this object for me. I doubt we shall meet again, but if we do, I hope we can be as cordial next time. And, uh, yeah. Um. So yeah, you uh uh you rescue Ruin is eager to flee the temple and return to his sister as soon as possible. He's obviously, don't forget, he's incapacitated. But, uh, just... You might have to carry him out. Oh. 
Right. Uh, I'm going to assume then that no one wants the remaining equipment and I'm going to sell it. Uh, have a wee quick look. Well, always take portions, never ever sell portions. Though. Always must sell. Right. I thought that was part of her arm. <laughs> And then distribute. There we go. So, uh, okay. Uh, at this point, I will have to do that. Hey! <laughs> okay, so uh, with Dr. Davantlas and Lady Anna Dason defeated, the creation and spread of Blood Veil suffers a mortal blow. Obviously, you are able to... Uh, You've got the uh well, each discovers approximately the cure for blood valve valves within the research dr valius ramon arconis and rolf each discovered that approximately one in 20 verisians exhibits an immunity to the blood valve you did fail your immunity to blood valve check when i started the game <laughs> gastus <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 not verisian anyway ah uh, that's okay then <laughs> that's a good job you found it then um so I will deal with the uh, uh, basically. Yeah, you get out. You're going to get outside. Anyone who's got, I'm going to assume that obviously you you because you've got magical abilities. You guys can clear clear the blood valve. I don't really want to sit there and watch you all taking a wound a, a wound per day until you all die. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so uh, for adamantine cold iron silver. Oh, very distorted. I didn't catch that. What are the silver? It's your breaking up now. Right. Okay. The influence of the city. Okay. So you have cured the blood dial, okay. obviously. Uh, find a cure for a month, say a thousand. If it only takes a day, a thousand people have one save. So. Where's, how many Corvos and Lyres have you saved? Yep, so there is. Yeah. I'm completely blind. No, well, I can't. 100 minus 10. 400 minus 10. Thousand. Okay, so that's 2,790 lives to save. Need one, really? Yes. You can't so it be It's just them cutting you out, isn't heard, it? Tavis. Tavis cutting out. Okay. Um... The cure once developed is mercifully simple concoction to create for anyone with the alchemy skill. Once a person suffering from blood bell takes the cure, not only does the disease fade, but one week thereafter, contact with a recently cured person spreads the cure in a manner identical to how the blood bell spreads. It was a magical Ooh. disease. That's therefore, uh, it's the fact that uh, that's why it's so virulent and everything. It, yeah, it wasn't real disease. It was a magical curse for all intents and purposes, except it could cure disease work. Up to four doses can be crafted a day at a cost. An individual alchemist can craft up to four doses per day at a cost of 200 gold pieces. Combined with additional healing magic, to continue the plague. Each day that passes, see the blood veil losing more and more footing until the disease is defeated in merely five weeks, apparently. Pretty good. Uh, finding we'll a cure for. Finding a cure. Oh, I heard it that time, yeah. Uh, okay. So, Arts Adventures defeat the cult of Agatha. The plague's progress slows but does not halt. Each day that follows this event, obviously, it's going to take five weeks to cure, so ultimately, so you, your characters don't know that, but you know what I mean. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, each day that follows this event, the number of citizens who perish continues to grow by 1d6 per day until either the plague is cured or it burns itself out. In a few months, the final death toll being 5,000. Okay. Did you hear that? Eva condition. Okay. 
So you have saved 2,790 lives. Okay, I'm not sure you can get more than that, actually. But you are local you heroes, not, um, apparently. Can you hear me yet? Yes. Mm -hmm. My, my. Did we you not get any for the provisions we saved upstairs and the load of people we saved in the... Um... I'm just going through. They give you the numbers and that's all it gives me. I'm just going to check if because it doesn't say. You're not Forget about Bob. We saved Bob. I Bob. did all. The, I did all the ones I found. You don't remember Bob? Poor well, Bob. No one remembers him. Is isn't Bob the the guy that uh, the vampire was researching on? So it's 2,791 lives. Yeah, Bob, what has he ever built for us? See, the thing I can't work out is I can't see how you meant it. I, I'm sure I, I do. I can't help think I've missed something somewhere. Here we are, survive account. That was Karen Manor. Okay, so what I just need to uh, check is I can't work out how you're supposed to save. More than you saved, other than the ten you lost. Eruption. Uh, not book three. Two where's book two? Book Did two. Direction. Direction. Clean your mind out with soap and water. Uh, <laughs> of course, I've got no room to talk. Blind filthy. Right, okay, here we go. Survival. Survival count. 13 matches. Fine, okay. So. We saved 400 playgrounds. How good are we? Survival count. <laughs> Don't spend more days on Russian. Okay, that will cost 10. Mm -hmm. uh, Preventing uh, the war. Yeah? Uh, I didn't realize that the breastplate needs a strength 10 and he's only got a strength eight. So he would have kept his, his chain shirt. Oh God, did, did I sell it? You can wear Yes, you, you did, I'm afraid. Hang on. Well, Hang no, on. it, 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 it decreases up, my up. pace. And... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, I don't think that's right. It's masterwork. Yeah, exactly. I think he only needs strength eight. Min strength yeah, for yeah, work. it should it should be strength eight, not strength ten, because it's master work. Okay. Um, that's obviously a mistake on the GM's part. Uh, so it should be yeah, D eight is mid basically master work armor reduces the strength requirement by one die type. Okay. Uh, so that's two hundred citizens there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, apparently in mana five hundred. That's fine. For every patient who survives their visit to the hospital and is cured of blood veil counts as one safe life. I knew I'd missed one somewhere. Uh, that gives you another 30 then. <laughs> okay. Plus 30. That's where I, I knew I was missing something somewhere. I just couldn't work out where. So every patient who survives the heroes, the hospital can put. Uh, aiding. Yeah, so you save thirty people in the hospital while you were down below. That's where the uh, that's where the reinforcements come in, and obviously that saves it. So that's okay. Two thousand eight hundred and twenty lives saved. Every living prisoner who's saved. Yeah, basically, what gets interesting after that, they just start giving you. Okay, so that's another fifteen there. Fifteen. It's up to 2,835. How many are in the prison? In the prison. Uh, patient cells. Here we go. Five of the H set. Five. So that's another five there. It's you up to 2,840. Uh, okay. That doesn't actually tell me how many are there, so I can't tell you how many you've saved there. 
Each destroy the blood vats. <laughs> you destroyed the blood vats, didn't you? And infecting yourselves. <laughs> that's another. That's another eight hundred lives saved. <laughs> Three thousand six hundred. So that's uh, the ones that Sassafras cracked by mistake. Okay. Yes, you saved eight hundred people by destroying them. Apparently. <laughs> After I thought so bad about it. Well, jeez. <laughs> okay. Means at the at the end of the plague in in the city of Corvosa, not including old Corvosa because that's quarantined off, and you know one knows what the figures are in there, and if anyone's even getting the cure to them right now. <laughs> so anyway, um. Gases want to do anything in the five weeks while the queue is coming around? In yeah, he absolutely does. It's just uh, I'm having problems being heard. I know. <laughs> right. I know, I know so you I'll, told. I'll just... I know we discussed it, so I, I just wanted yes. you to. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll speak up so that I'm coming through Kay's microphone. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is um, go and talk to. Um... I've forgotten her name. The, the marshal, yeah, Cressida, and I'm gonna, yeah, Cressida Croft, Marshal Croft. Yeah. Let her know what the high priestess said that the queen had hired her to do this, mm -hmm. and point out that I'm well aware that I don't have any proof that I can hand over to her, but the queen was behind the blood veil. And yes, I know I should say that publicly, but I think oh, she should know yes. that. Yeah. You could tell her that, but obviously she will basically say the same thing that even if uh, without any means to prove, even if there was means to prove it, that's a very dangerous line, and uh, is actually going to be just in the meta thing is definitely going to be common is a pretty much the first scene of the next book, so we'll leave, we'll wait for that yeah. one. <laughs> so I'm going to point out to the rest of the group that the first place that got closed down when the blood fell was the old town. And the doctor said that the purpose of this whole thing was to cull, it wasn't the weak, and the, it was to cull those that were of no use to society. And Undesirable. Queen, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the first place the Queen locked off. Even though we've got this cure, I think that's not going to make it to the old town time to actually help anybody there. So at the very least, we should take the recipe for the cure there. We know that we've got an alchemy lab in the basement of the Lentinius. We're pretty sure that Ben Carlo Arasini is Blackjack. We know that he's got contact. And as far as we know, he's still in the old town. So if we take the, take the recipe for the cure to him, let him know we've got an alchemy lab, and then see if we can work with provide materials we might be able to get the the cure to the, the old town as well yeah we must save the kit you know what we need an escape plan because i got a funny um, feeling that this is all going to go south really quick actually there's a very good uh, question there escape. uh ha i've got to ask some guesses here obviously you're talking you're going to talk to Cressida about it but are you are you what are, are you doing anything else about your theories about the queen There's not much else I can do with it. That's absolutely fine. That's there's a very good um, there's a reason I'm asking that because that does affect what um what happens with regards to what happens here. So okay. So um you are held as the city's saviors. Nearly everyone in the city knows or has heard of your your you lot. You get a free reroll on persuasion and intimidation checks against Corvosan citizens. More importantly, Queen Eliosa is forced to publicly acknowledge your work and gives a short, uh, notable for notice checks, grudging speech, <laughs> if you make your notice check, in their honour, praising their actions and granting each of you a 5,000 gold piece writ 
in reward for your services. Obviously, this is just a proclamation she makes. It's not a case of she lets you anywhere near her or any of that sort of stuff. <laughs> this writ is good for any purchase made within Kavosa's walls. So there you go. Cool. You are the saviors of Kavosa. So at some point, I, but, but that's what I'm going to say. This is, we need a we need an escape plan because she's going to um, be really really annoyed with her. But hey, she's given us five thousand gold pieces each. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's just. But uh, she had yeah. It's more a case of it's a piece of paper. Yeah, that's yeah. politics. That's politics for you. Well, and that you know deflects any suspicion from her. Why would she be mm. grateful we killed it if she was behind it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh modules. Uh, modules, 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 modules. Uh corals. Uh special you know what we've materials. Got the, the house there's there's access to the sewers. I reckon we should buy a boat. <laughs> the strategic, the strategic, we place it for an escape. Not a bad idea. Although they are watching the old boats going to come as well. It's a damn Fork has got no problem rowing the boat up the sewer to get to the house. Uh, just... so, uh, has anybody got scrolls of wishes for sale? Does anyone have, did anyone end up with a mithril weapon? I've got a mithril weapon. Thank you. I knew someone did. I just could not come work out why I couldn't find it. So interesting. It's not got anything on it to say it's magic. Well, it might not be magic if it's mithril. It is, because it's also got uh, the damaging enchantment. Can't see it. Bring her asleep. Bring her asleep. Okie dokie. Uh... Yeah, the, the, the silver key where I've got it, the other ones I've I can't remember what I used. No, don't worry about magic. We'll worry about that later. Um, hey, so uh, Aldrich means they count as. Uh, it's an interesting thing. Uh, no, actually, there's an interesting thing. Can mimic the effects of adamantine, cold arm, silver, or magic for the purpose. So I think you've got to declare them before you use them, which is weird. Or you say they automatically do all of them. Do you know what I mean? I'm not it's an inter bad, poorly worded. <laughs> I'd say they can imitate all of them. Yeah, I'd agree. It shouldn't be something you actively have to choose, but you know what it's like in. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think the last one's. Enchantment started using for I think I started uh -oh. using enchantment, enchantment. enchantment. I'll have to look up some of the monsters. I'll use enchant enchant enchantment for now. I did start programming I did program something start programming something in for the MP for monsters, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, so Okay, um, so basically the only problem with your plan, Gustus, is it turns out that while you were down, while you were heading to the hospital and sorting everything out in the, or go for, uh, go for an after that, uh, uh, basically uh, the priests of, I forgot what they, of the church, I forgot what the church is called, uh, let Lavender go. Yeah. He was sort of... Um, Escorted to the city gate, stole, let her go. So that, well, that's that's Thaddeus's girlfriend. Yes. I'm less bothered about her, more bothered about. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. So obviously the queen will have a talk. Uh, you you've given the you've given the cure. You've given the detail. Yeah, basically you get into old Corvosa. Uh, uh, you head to uh, Ben Carlo's. Uh, House. Aye, sorry. Uh, there's no Aye. reply when you answer, but you obviously leave. You basically leave. You you push. Yeah, you actually push it through the door. Uh, you know, under the door. So, uh, so you. Uh, I mean, a couple of days, the word gets back to you that it was gratefully received, and they've already 
They already have alchemists in Old Corvosa mixing up the cure. So that's well, good. So, yeah, so you said that the, the alchemist had been released and taken to the city gates. We are, of course, going to smuggle them back in again. Yeah, but you've got to find the first, is what I'm trying to say. Bring her back in through the sewers, and because she's we've got an alchemy. I don't have a problem. Don't no, don't have a problem with all that. That's absolutely fine. I have a plan. <laughs> anyway, so uh, obviously the next few weeks, obviously you'll be held as heroes and everything else, and um, uh, the cure is going ongoing. And once the cure is finished, we start book three. So we have a few weeks until book three starts, but uh, it's about it's about three weeks. Since the cure has been rolled out, so more and more people are are getting better. There's still cases coming in, and obviously the church the church is doing everything they can. Um, you're either in the hotels you were staying in, or at the or you're in the barracks in the in the citadel. Uh, Gastus, uh, basically, you are hand one morning you're handed uh, a sealed letter. With no identifying marks to say who sent it. Okay. Are you going to read it? Well, yes. Who handed it to me? Uh, it was delivered to the Citadel, so it was handed to you by one of the guards. Okay. Um, it's a... Open it and read it. You will open it and read it. It simply says, Gastus, thank you for providing the much needed information for a cure for blood veil. We have been assured that the cure will be provided, but at this time we've not received any as of yet. Uh, it should be noted that this was, this is, uh, there it is dated uh, about three or four days ago, but obviously getting it, smuggling it out of um, old Corvosa obviously took some time. With this in mind, I was able to order the required ingredients in bulk, and they should have arrived by now, but they have not arrived at the agreed delivery point up the Yeager River. I have included a map showing the delivery point. If you backtrack from there, I'm hoping you can find out what happened to the caravan. This is an urgent task, as without the cure, we'll have to wait on the delivery from the Queen's physicians before we can cure the cure. If you recover the goods, once they reach the delivery point, we will be able to smuggle them. Oh, I missed out the word them. Smuggle them into Old Corvosa. Thank you for your continued support. And it's signed Blackjack. Quick, to the Jackmobile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I shall uh, gather my allies. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Jack Cave. Yeah. Yeah. In the Jack <laughs> So uh, yes, so uh, uh, obviously uh, I am assuming everyone else is uh, going to head out with you, but you don't. They don't have to if they want to stay in this city, which is getting better now. The plague's been. What can we buy for five thousand? We need some five and five thousand gold stuff to spend, doesn't it? Is no, you want to shop? go shopping first. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course we got to spend it. Why is advice buying something decent? Where are we going? Are we going to, do we need horses, camels, giraffes, buffaloes? I've not loaded. Them. Oh, don't tell me I'm loading the module. This is the problem when you just decide that you're going to start Gilded again. Orrery, Grand Cathedral, Thorasma, Green Market, and Marketplace, Horse, Horse, Horse. horse. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. For a wish scrolls, <laughs> I'm not letting anyone buy wish scrolls. <laughs> uh, you'll have to go shopping when you come back because I need to load the module in. Shops, the shop's there. I can see the shops. The scroll of blast. I'm in the gilded or or orrery. Gilded or I haven't. I basically before for four point five. I completely cleared down my fantasy grounds. Nudity reinstalled it from scratch and did everything. And I keep find I keep realizing modules I forgot to copy in that aren't part of the yeah my modules. So I've left my 
my Savage Pathfinder magic item generating modules are not here, so I can't generate new items to put in the shops. So I suggest you go on this adventure and then buy items when you get back. Okay. Yeah, and I couldn't we'll find the arcane conversions module either because Rudy's got some skills that I couldn't read without it. Didn't have. Oh, is it? Oh, do you mean spells? Arcane conversions. Yeah, but you. Yes, yeah, you said you said, said yes, but you said skills, which is what threw me. You meant some of the spells. Yeah. The spells, whatever. Yeah. No, no, it's it's just it's just, I've just got to understand. As I say, without restarting Fantasy Grounds, which I don't really want to do right now, you'll just we'll have you know what I mean. We'll, we'll, we will. Oh, that's okay. I just skipped <laughs> it. You know, it yeah. probably would have been useful, but that's all right. Um, well, I shall gather my allies together and let them know about this uh, caravan up the Yagari River. We need to help them as soon as possible. The kits need the cure. Not just them. The children, the elderly, all the people of Old Corvosa. The kits. That is the children. Exactly. I knew what yeah. you meant. There's the arcane conversions module. Let's move that across then i'm glad i can count on your assistance okay conversions will be um in the meantime perhaps if you could hunt down the gnomes i will visit master wild soul and master Borker. of course i will go and find sassafras and um, staying, okay, I, thank you. I shall go and find the taller of them first and go and find Fabian. This <laughs> <laughs> is probably in whatever room she was assigned to study in the various schools and stuff she's acquired over time and tra trying to train Rudy. He's not easy to train. He seems to have a mind of his own. <laughs> He's almost like a dragon form of a gnome, isn't he? He's in a park. I'll find that. Please talk amongst yourselves while I try and find something. There we go. Uh. Well, I will find Sassafras first, as she's easier to find. Sassafras, the cure for the old town, the ingredients they've ordered have not arrived. They need us to track down the caravan. Can you help us? Uh, well, don't we want to return to Gastinius' house? And we can't do it until old town is disease-free, right? Well, yeah. Well, then I'm in. I Excellent. still got my mask, so I can't get the disease. Uh, Fabius is probably actually living in the cellar of uh, the Lentinius house anyway. I will make my way through the city. Indeed. And, and then find him. And I'll go and find Daki. Did you say you were in a park somewhere? Yeah, I'm in a park. Okay. Um, Talking to the trees. I will get um, my little dragon to help me find you. Um, so if we want to get the gang together, together, why don't we just send stuff to them? Well, if you can send something to Master Volker, I believe he's the last one we need to find. Send send a message to Volker. Yeah, Volker would actually like to go to the Gilded Ori and buy that heavy shield of deflection. Right. Uh, you want to buy? You want to go to a shop and buy a the gilded orrery, and you wanted to buy the clear the shopper heavy shield. <laughs> I know exactly what I want to buy. Okay. Uh, where is your yeah. gold? Second, I'm just sorting out. Um, and Ori. I'd like I'd like to use the Queen's writ if we've actually got that. If not, I'll just pay out of my pocket. Uh, oh yeah, you've certainly got the Queen's writ. So basically, yeah, you just I just uh, there you go. I just do that. You don't get any money back, but obviously you get. Right. Well, you can make it out. You've technically got six hundred and eighty gold left. So let's put on yours Queen's writ. 680 GP. There you go. I'm doing 
Uh, where's Leia going shopping? Uh, that depends on where I can get what to, you're about to get a message about one. And... Oh. There you go. <laughs> I've seen too many scary things about that. <laughs> oh, really? I'm almost yeah. concerned. Hmm. Uh, basically, that's just you. You basically put it in the middle of a ship, and it tears the ship in half. Oh, never even occurred to me. That's a sick usage of it. I've had much more fun uses of it. I think okay, it's I have a funky. Life. I have a funky feeling. There's one, uh, one somewhere. So uh, we'll see what happens. Right, I'm going to assume unless anyone wants to buy anything else, you've headed out and you're heading up the Yeager River. Good. Um, I need sure everybody to now. make a notice check. Right. Uh, Thaddeus got a three, so that's absolutely fine. Um, no. uh, I just need to mind my. It's not as many people on the thread being all flowing of the bennies, have we? No, nah, it's been it's a quiet one. One one thing um, I might notice Gasper has been doing during this time when the, he's not getting better and trying to gather all together is he's spending an awful lot of time at the pantheon of many. And can often be found sitting mead and looking at the uh, statue of Caden Callion. Okay, so there's obviously you're you've headed out the east shore, and you're heading along. There's obviously you're heading out the east shore, and if you look on the on the map or on the on the wallpaper, the you can see there's a road that sort of is going to wend wend away and sort of follow the Yeager River. So. Uh, you're about a day out from the city when uh, everyone except Thaddeus sees a very forlorn and dejected looking uh, person. I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, walking oh, my notice. up the road. Anyone we know? Uh, yes, indeed. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> Master well, <Welcome>. Hello. <laughs> I, I, I will point out to Master Wildsoul who it is. Is he the only one that didn't notice? He's the only he's, one. Yeah, he didn't notice. He's so <laughs> busy missing him, he didn't notice. <laughs> Chin up, Master Wild Soul. I'm sure you'll come across her at some point. <laughs> Eyes to the horizon. It's, uh, it goes, it's Benjamin hit, goes, so it sounds like, I know that voice. She turns around and goes, Right, so you've all come back to punish me even more. Is that your aim? Far from it. I'm going to just turn and look at Thaddeus. It should be pointed out that I was let free of no charges. It turned out that people were cured by my concoction. I'll freely admit I might be so, as surprised as you might be by that, but it apparently worked well enough for me to get out of there. Or at least... Or at least... That's exactly... Oh, I wish I could find the guy's name. That's the cleric's name. Well, well you're, right, that's you're, what he said. your cure yeah. didn't cure people, but then again, you you never affected people either. So win win. And you gave uh, the people hope, and that's a kind of cure. Now, if you consider talking to Master Wild Soul punishment, you're in for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ishani, uh, Ishani, he was the one who. Uh, basically reported on the result. He said a very strange thing at the end. He just said that uh, someone would be, someone's looking out for me, but I had no idea what that means. But I can't be you lot. So look, 
Just, just, just kick me to the dirt and then get on your way. Again, I turn and look at Thaddeus. Well, how would you like a, how would you like your own uh, alchemy lab all set up with all the modern stuff? And you could go right back into business again instantaneously. Well, that sounds marvellous, but no one's no one's going to do that. Besides yes, which... It happens to be just such a facility set up in the basement of our house. All for you. I see. Of course, we can't get back to the house until we get Old Town cured, so it might be a bit. Well, in that I'm case, it looks with... like I'm coming with you, Lord. She's now sitting on the Thaddeus. <laughs> Unfortunately hey. for you, Master Wild Soul keeps his bed in the same room. <laughs> Whack. He smiles and says, it's okay. I, 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 I do like my garlic mints. He says with a cheeky smile. Ooh. And anyway. Obviously, having nowhere to go, no money or anything else, she seems quite happy to uh, take you up on the offer and starts uh, plodding along with you. It's another. It's uh, it's later in the afternoon when uh, basically you or party that will be are uh, moving up the road and went wrong. Let's try that again. Moving up the road and you think you possibly. Found the caravan. This is evidenced by the large amounts of wreck dust. Smoke. Corpses. Hmm. Oh, great. There'll be dead people. Oh, even the horses. No, only one dead horse. Yeah, the taken the other horse. Well, Aramis, I shall say, patting Aramis. I have a feeling you might be getting hit to a wagon. Tokens aren't locked, so you should be able to move. Okay. First of all, check the caravans to see if there's anything still in them. Yes, absolutely. Uh, they're all empty. Okay, time to do some tracking. Who's good at tracking? People appear to be dead of obviously lack of life, but lack of blood by the look of it, um, it appears to be all on the paper. They appear to all have decided that um, having multiple arrows in, inserted into their bodies was a good idea. Can I identify anything from the fletching? Um, possibly. Sass Frass wants to hop up and check the wagons because they're well made. Yeah. The, it was the, probably who, the goods they were stealing. The, yeah, the, the wagons are empty. And um, they took two of the three horses. Uh, the arrows are of good quality, well made. Uh, some of them appear to be masterwork. Hmm. Whoever attacked this wagon was very, very well supplied. Oh, kind of like anybody that would be working for the clean. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. There doesn't appear to be any blood anywhere that doesn't have a body on it. So either this ambush went incredibly well, or whoever attacked it decided to clean up the blood of any of them that was injured. Only Aki, mm. <laughs> uh, Aki, meanwhile, has been looking around the area. Um, tracking Can shows that the after the uh, wagons were unloaded, uh, the attackers and the two remaining horses headed southwest. Down that part, yeah, that way, yeah. You have to send the bug. Uh, now, um, three wagons that had to be carrying a fair amount of stuff. Yeah. So, 
the people who left in that direction, were they pulling wagons of their own? There is no sign, there's no indication that that is the case, no. Then where did the stuff go? Is there any sign of where it's gone? Because you can't uh, just load up two horses with three wagons worth of cargo. Indeed. Can't if you're rich enough to afford bags of holding. Oh, I suppose. Pointed out. Yeah, and the growth in the area. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What if they just threw it into the woods? That the whole yeah. thing to make sure it didn't get to Old Town, not so much that they wanted it for themselves. So search the area in case anybody or anything has been left behind in the woods immediately surrounding the event. Yeah, and I'm searching with her. Because I, I had the same thought she did, that they didn't take it, they just tossed it, you know, where it wouldn't be you know, easily found or whatever. Searching yeah. the area, you do not find anything hidden. Okay. You can sense anything, Leah. Can I, GM? No. Where the ambushes might have been or anything like that. I use my um, incredible sense of smell to try and get more information. Was that your notice check of 11 there? It was. Yeah. Um, well, the tree appears to have basic, the, the, the tree appears to have sort of shattered, at the, you know, as if you know, it hit something hit it with huge amounts of force. Are there any tracks to show what could have done that, or are we talking magical blast? You're thinking ma it was magical in nature. Okay. Well, if these were hired thugs, so to speak, magical thugs are more expensive to hire. So, how, how did they get? Sorry, how did they get the cargo moved then? You don't know. Potentially telekinesis, bags of holding. Bags of Whatever holding. this operation was, it was incredibly well funded. And they went that way. We should follow the track. We should bury the dead first. Or at least burn them. Um, which is more appropriate to the religion of the area or the religion of these people if they're displaying an obvious religion by jewelry or well it, i mean that's the problem with that's the problem with fantasy worlds that could be anything really couldn't it but we uh, bury them. you could just bury them and to we'll go back to nature it's a circle of life <laughs> the standard thing yeah exactly the, i would argue the standard thing would be in this world I'm is you would you would for. bury them and perform the services as you see fit you know what I mean? Okay. To your belief, to your belief, I'm gonna. And as you say, if you knew if they had, if they were obviously, if you knew they were of a certain service, then you you could sort of intercede to their deity on their behalf. But otherwise, the best you can do is sort of do a. There's probably a standard generic sort of prayer to all gods in, or something. In Corvosa itself, most people are buried in the Grey District. Dead or yeah. dead. Um, looks after the dead. Well, then burial and prayers to Harazma, then, or whatever. Seems, seems sensible to me. Okay, Normally so. It's, norm, traditionally, it's whatever makes the most money for the church. Well, that's not why we're giving <laughs> oh, yeah, listen, we're not, so I don't care about church. We're going to bury him. They're going to feed the trees and the animals. Yeah. Tuna Matata. Well, feeding it's... the animals, they definitely don't need burying. Oh, it all went uh, red. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to change that. Sun's going yeah. down. You can bury them anyway, but then you've got to pay an enormous amount of money for a priest to come and consecrate the ground. We've got so by the time there. you finish, by the time you finish burying them all, um, it, it, it is def, it's basically the sun has set, uh, so you're probably best bet is to camp out somewhere nearby for the night of it, unless you want to try traipsing through tracking in the darkness. I you, suggest we we camp. Slightly um, upwind of them because ew. 
Well, you buried them. That's what took yeah, so long. Yeah, but yeah. there's also the remains of a horse which we probably didn't bury, and it's not like we scooped up all the blood and viscera that fell out. Oh, the smell we're going to you to bury there. that horse. He probably wants to eat it. <laughs> Again, I say, ooh. Okay. I'm going to... So basically... See, you can drag the horse off and eat it with the other animals. <laughs> In the... Oh. Uh, Basically, uh, obviously, the night passes. Well, hang on, let's find out if the night passes uneventfully. The night passes uneventfully. Okay. The night passes uneventfully, and uh, then you head out again. Obviously, uh, follow uh, following the following the tracks. I say it appears to be a, a, a good number, probably uh, uh, definitely more than ten, possibly fifteen, uh, thirty at the most. Basically, depending on... Yeah, you seem to be following. Oh, that might explain the cargo, then. Uh, that many people could carry quite a bit. All right. Rather than, rather than walk, we'll hitch Aramis one of the wagons. And then we can drive. We'll have to move the tree out of the way, but okay. Between us, we should be able to do that without much trouble. The tracks sort of lead you, what appears to be, but it's pretty, almost a dead end. Almost? Well, what you could see is you could see what appears to be an old mine working. Uh, the buildings appear that we're in. I know the map shows it open, but that whole, that, that what you reckon would be an entrance to the mine is completely boarded up. Well, look, look for tracks, sniff for people. People have marched that long after working hard are going to probably have quite an aroma, I can track. Can't tell from that bit how recent that boarding is. What if they used links? Give me a sniff roll, Tav. So if they use links, then we'll be able then we'll be able to know. Yeah. If it's Africa, they'll smell all, all dramatic. If, if it's, it's the Kingdom, they'll smell slightly of cigarettes and disappointment. <laughs> and if they I've, got, I've actually got right links. I've got links just... Africa and Marmite. <laughs> I use cookies and leather. And for the Americans amongst us, we're talking about ants. Yeah. Spray on deodorant that makes you stink, and some people use the whole can in one sitting. <laughs> oh, oh, for the Americans among us, you mean axe. That's what you said. That's what I just said. Axe. That's yeah, exactly axe. what you just said. This is his accent. accent. It is. And I oh, please I'm have some... Uh, no, uh, no, they has already done one. That's absolutely fine. I'm cheesed doing I said I was sniffing it out. I know. Uh, still. He noticed from anyone else lays enough. So I wonder why the Americans didn't call it Lynx. I thought she was booking it. They also made us change marathons into Snickers. Who knows? They did. Yeah. Okay. The oil of um, Ule became oil of Ole. Although the rest of the world turned, changed from, I forgot what. Oh, Raider, was it? To Twix. I can't remember what it was. Something. Oh. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. We we lost we lost the marathon, but we kept Twix. Da oh, Dime Bar became Dame Bar. Ew. Well, that makes P-A-I-M, whatever that means. Hmm. Made more sense than when it was a dime, because it's not a dime. We don't have dimes anymore. We have dames. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> dames something that's side married side to a duke. They're not of an um, AI, anyway. ain't. The best, the best, the best product name ever, though, has to be um, Caesar. There are dogs. There are dogs here. It's a dog loose in the blue. Yeah, Castus 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 Okay, Gastus, as you sneak forward with 
what you assume is an absolutely awesome sneaky roll, the dog starts barking. Yes, that dog. Very loudly. Well, in, in that case, I'm just going to walk out into the open. And it's... Ooh. Uh, ideas. Uh, could you flash into me a bug? Oh, what? Powers. Uh, I don't... I... Don't know. Hold then. Okay. Vorka. Uh, Vorka is going to whip out his dog slicer. Wait, no, that's. <laughs> <laughs> and dart up here and make the doggy be quiet. Okie dokie. Oh, no. And wow. Oh, it hits the dog. Oh, goblins don't like dogs. I know. I don't have a problem with the goblin hitting the dog yet because we know goblins don't like dogs. Orca really doesn't <laughs> like dogs. <laughs> I'm not that fond the of them myself. Dog whines in pain <laughs> or screams like a. Now, Will the help. cantrip least friend works the same way as the spell, right? Wasn't that wearing a saddle yeah. in my imagination? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's the only Im Im image I had for a Mastiff that halflings were ride them as war dogs. Cantrip beast friend wouldn't work the same way. It's not, not going to help on a dead dog. Can I figure out where I want from under these other tokens, Goswalk, if you'll approve those rules. It was just to get out from where we're all stacked. Yeah, that's okay. You can on your initiative. Two arrows whistle out from from somewhere way up there and miss Borka because of his heavy deflecting shield. Oh, yeah. I want to free action cast my stealthy thingy. Um, and I want to make my way as fast as I can to uh, to where the arrows came from without being seen. Does that mean you want to use the hurry modifier on some the of arrows yes, came? The ar there's, there's trees all basically. There's trees all. There, it's cliff. It's the there's cliff is a cliff face, and there's trees above the cliff face. The arrows flew out from the above the in from amongst you the look trees. Up and see a bus go over the cliff, and they go cliff. You suspect there's someone. You suspect there's an archer or multiple archers up in the trees. Is what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm going to get to them with super stealthy hurry powers. So you can actually move 11 with your hurry on there. Okay. Uh, so, uh... Running if necessary, climbing when required. Depends which way you want to go. Far north. Yeah, where, um, north. Depends which way you want to go or decide on. Okay, so that okay, so you'll hit a wall there because that's a house. <laughs> but anyway, so uh let me see now. Let me cancel that. So you'll get to seven to there, then uh eleven to there. Climber up there okay. with an athletics check. Okay. So I know it won't be a problem, but uh, yeah, if you look it's two it's basically two levels of there, so that's one inch each. That's, so you, you that's fine. Yeah, you get up to that level, but that's that's yeah, so you're at plus two. Thank you. I was, I was just gonna do that, I didn't need to. Uh that's one for 
Okay, Majenko. Um, Majenko's going to run interference by flying. Uh, I've gone northwest, so Majenko's going to fly northeast and be intentionally obvious yet evasive. Yeah. To try Majen and distract yeah. the archers. Majenko, of course, can literally just yeah go up to plus three and get to there, no problem at all. Uh, which way is cover? Is where Leah is is cover? I'm gonna head for cover because I can't see what's going on here. I'm at like, the end of the day, you're at the you're at the bottom of a valley, as it were. You know what I mean? Okay. You're, you're, well, you so said there's there's no real just... cover. In theory, if there are people up in the trees above, there isn't any real cover because they could shoot down on you. So it was like a, well, I'm gonna they... I'm gonna I'm gonna go follow Leah. Yep. And then Rudy's gonna do pretty much what Majenko is doing because Rudy is a really he doesn't look like the dragons are used to. So he's a really strange type. So he's gonna just fly up, squawk it away, chattering like the little dra fairy dragons do. Okay, okay. No problem. Rudy flies to there. Okay. Uh praise you rolled a three on your notice. I'm putting the drop on you. Probably will be not enough. Aha! At the very last second, even though he was a, basically a failed sneak attack upon you. Justice. Okay. Well, I shall counterattack with a failed sneak attack. Mm hmm. Other, other, uh, uh, you uh, currently you missed. He, he basically attacked, he literally tried to stick a knife in you through, through a gap in the wall, if that makes sense. Because you, you know, how you said you were sort of using it for cover. So, yeah. you, you he, I've given it, he's got light cover because it's a very fragile wall, and obviously, you know where to go, and there's nothing stopping you doing it back, but it does count as cover he would have stepped back slightly when he failed to attack. So uh, that will have missed, but you could re-roll if you want to. I'll let you keep the damage okay. if you want to roll. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that as a miss. We'll, uh, we'll, okay. we'll trap the counter-attack as a, as, as a parry instead then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you parry it. No problem at all. Uh, okay, I am going to shoot Orca. Orca, Orca. shot my dog. Shot my dog. Just to Aki. Fucking people attacking us from all over. I think I have to cast protection. <laughs> cast protection. Well, some of you don't need protection because you're tough as um old boots. Old boots, yes, boots, yes. So I haven't got that many power points. Uh... Justice isn't tough, but no one can bloody hit him because he's very good at parrying and everything. Gaspis is very much, don't hit me! Gaspis is annoying like that. And I'm going to put a shroud on it as well.
got an effect for that or you have got an effect for that look at that yeah baby right let's roll it first though It's successful casting of protection. That gives them toughness plus two, doesn't it? If it raise, it does. The cost of My effects of the combat tracker means none of my windows work and all the effects are finished. <laughs> the combat tracker does seem slower than the old one. Uh, so that costs you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power points, but I guess before you did anything else. Hmm. Right. But it's variable normally, isn't it? And it does bother me that one. I do wish it I think my like bus is not to bother, but anyway. So yes, add it to your item annoyingly. Personally, I don't I wish magical items that increase your figure didn't actually increase your toughness, but I guess. Brian Ho, uh where are we up to on come back to trick here? Aki is moving five inches to there. Okay. See up to guess. <laughs> oh, he can see the scout. Nikki's woggle. Okay. It took me a few moments to get that one. <laughs> <sighs> Good one. Thank you. I wasn't yeah. sure I'd get it actually. <laughs> I had a red woggle when I was in the cups. I remember having to make one in the out of twigs in in the forest. School thing. I was the sixer of uh, the yellow six. I was sixer of red six. And then I was senior six. And then, uh, yeah, and then obviously you get scouts, so you had a level, level waddle the instead, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> then I left scouts because I, I decided I'd rather fire guns than fly planes when the air cadets. Mm hmm. Mm. That sounds fun. And also, the scouts had to camp in tents where the air cadets got to camp in buildings. Well, that's just glamping. That's 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 actually true. The whole service they never go camping. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing with the air. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? We're, we're only in a three-star hotel for camping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so camp, yeah, camping on camping on an air force base. You stay in, you stay that like, you stay in the you know in the airmen's quarters, and you go to the airmen's mess for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That was terribly hard, tough camping. <laughs> oh. Once a year, we'd all uh, uh, we'd go to an army base on the camp, and the the food the army got, and hate the food, but love the actual uh, love the camp because it was the time you got the army let you fire the stuff. The the, the air force wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a certain place we wouldn't talk about, but they, they worked out that sending an aircraft carrier was cheaper than paying the RAF hotel bill. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. That is an absolutely true thing. So I'm going to, uh, as an athletic check, uh, use my boots of leaping to leap into the air, doing a somersault and landing down behind him. Okie dokie. 
So this is going to be a multi-action, but fortunately it gives you a plus two for thinking. Okay. Bloody hell. I think you were dexterous I enough. I think I was. Um, clearly, fast test isn't on. Remember it. So, uh, I, well, he gets to res he gets to resist that. Oh, you think it's a test? I apologise. You, you, your mic broke up, so I must have missed you saying it was a test. Yeah, sorry. Uh... I've put the gain on maximum as well. That's okay, it's okay. Uh, post athletics, I'm going to treat that as creative combat roll. So I'll make him vulnerable for starters. Okay. He's both distracted and vulnerable. There we go. Distracted and vulnerable. Oh, good. Now you get to sneak attack him. <laughs> now I get to sneak attack him. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm going to do this non-lethally. So he's going to get um, a couple of pommels narratively to the back of the head, but I'm not going to bother with the headshot. Yeah. Well, you're just hitting him as you fly over his head, aren't you? Exactly. It's probably to either side of the head on the on the nerve end on the ner the pressure points. Isn't it? <laughs> Quite possibly, yeah. Random fact: Cariel was with that was actually knocked out in the Princess Bride when he was hit in the head with a pommel of a sword because they used a real sword and it really knocked him out. <laughs> Okay, so Scout 1 is knocked out. Uh, okay, that brings back to me. Uh, rapid shot. Gastus. Actually hit me. Oh, it's it's archery, isn't it? <laughs> actually, yeah, it's archery. Actually, I forgot to you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's a very precise shot. Just you land as just as the guy comps down, this arrow just arcs through that really narrow gap there and literally just Hits you. Which basically means you will take one wound. Oh, you haven't got any more bandits, so you have to take it, don't you? There we go. <laughs> so a very accurate shot causes you to take a wound as you are Hit by an arrow that brings us to Thaddeus is on hold. Does Thaddeus wish to do yeah, anything? Yeah, Thaddeus should have come off hold uh, and moved to, moved to there. Oh, I know you've moved the map. You'll move I haven't moved to... the map. <laughs> no, it's just jumpy, jumpy. Uh, so because he to... very much decided to disconnect us. Six. Northwest, anyway. Gastus, the arrow came from your northwest. That was six, yeah. Thank you. Oh, it wasn't. It was only five. Six. Uh, no, you yeah, yeah, proved it before I moved it the second time. It's only an inch. It's only an inch. Uh, 
So move to there and then cast uh summon bat for six power points, creating two flying bats. Okie dokie. I'm pretty you sure if they were flying, they'd just be my is he the bad man? <laughs> Yeah, so two two flying bats uh, are they on the map? Combat tracker, where you tell me where you're summoning them. Um, I'll, well, just summon them. Uh, let's see, summon them. Um, let's summon them there. So flapping. Okay, one can go one can go there and make a notice roll for an action. Okay. okay. Doesn't spot anyone hiding in there. And the other one can fly. Uh, let's have a look in the mine shaft. Just move it to there. Boarded up. I did try and put a graphic a graphic on. To show it boarded up. Yeah, um, but well, well, can we? Well, when actual fact, let's give let's give them a wee bit of altitude. So, oh, hang on. Let's give him a bit of altitude. Let's see. He's going to make a notice roll as well as an action. Okay. Failing. <laughs> yeah, I just want to find out where, where the arrows are coming from, basically. The trees. The trees. So, uh... And archers. Well, yes. <laughs> Point taken. Very dangerous trees. <laughs> It's that, any dwarf uh, will tell you. <laughs> she, will simply, she will just simply hide at the back. Don't know what okay. you're on about. Their bark's far worse than their bite. <laughs> Brings us to Walker. It goes to Walker. I just Indeed. thought I'd put out some scouts because I don't know where the arrows are coming from. Because they're hidden in their hides. You missed the Vorka. Uh, Vorka is going to uh, Vorka's going to run. Actually, we're going to dart over there. Woo! Real fast. Um. And start climbing. Okie dokie. Uh, that will get you. Uh, an athletics check will get you two thirds of the way up. <laughs> two out of the three. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you've got one more inch, you'd have got to the top. <laughs> okay, that that works for me actually. That to they honest, can't shoot me now. I'm exactly, too close I was about to, the to cliff, say so. you're too you you are you cannot be hit. You're very you're in very good cover. Okay, that brings to here. So I'm going to target. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to target there. Target there. A fire. Two hits. Two bats are shot out of the sky. You killed my bats. Well, let's face it, if something can detect them, they're going to kill them first, aren't they? <laughs> that is up. It came, those arrows came north of Vorka. Okay, Leia, you're, you're basically, you've climbed up to the sort of middle level cliff uh, so that there's another inch of climbing to get to that top, that, that cliff in front of you. Go for it. 
running? I'm running. Plus, I've still got my hurry. So, so you can move 11 inches because if we take into account the vertical verticality. <laughs> verticality. Ooh. Or you could jump it. Uh, if it's the jumpable height, sure. It doesn't matter. It's timing or athletics. It doesn't really matter. It's 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 narrative. Which way you want to do it? Do you want to narratively? Yeah. It obviously costs an inch of vertical movement, so that means you can move eleven to there. Yeah, no problem at all. Can I see the archers yet? You can make a notice check. Or can I smell the archers? You yeah. can smell the archers, but you can't see them. You can sense one is northwest of you, and one is. East, north, east of you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go to the second one you indicated first, beginning of my next action. Should be pointed out, it's quite a high tree. I'm a cat, I can climb. I know, I've just realised actually, when I added them to the combat tracker, it didn't have the height. I have claws I can dig into the tree. Yes, that's a very good climbers. Athletics plus one, is it not? Two for one. Good climbing. Getting tall. Space eight, if Jake wants to fly somewhere. Um, Majenko's like, going to help Gaspus out. I think we're both doing it. I'll stop doing that. You were trying to do it, sorry. Yeah. Stasifras, you're up. Okay, this right in front of me is a bit of a, like, cliff-type thing, so I'd have to climb to get over it. Do you need you would, yeah. It's, 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 two, it's two inches of verticality. Okay, so what would, if, and do you need just athletics? Athletic just athletics, yeah, no problem at all. Unless you crit fail, you'll just fail to climb it. <laughs> oh, oh, shut the hell up! <laughs> say that! <laughs> okay, I'm afraid that's going to be 2d6 foot. You basically, you've almost got to the top and then you grab hold of something and you watch in horror as you basically, the rock, all comes away and then you basically start spiraling out with the with some. Root that's hanging. In. You're hanging there for a second in midair until the with a with a sickening snap, the root gives way. You plunge back down to the bottom, Ooh, landing bad, very badly. <laughs> Obviously, you land on the rocks at the bottom. You can, you can, you can always as long as you got bennies, as long as you got bennies, you can always soak damage. Uh, you're yeah, I'm able. I'm pretty yeah. scraped up. Yeah, you, uh, you you've you avoided the really nasty sharp rocks, but you do hit the ground hard, and you find yourself just staring up at the sky, <laughs> wondering what on earth went wrong. <laughs> and, and Rudy looks down and he chitters away, and then he goes spiraling up, chattering, and because he's gonna, he's trying to find those people who are shooting things. He doesn't care because he doesn't think they can hit him. But he's gonna go. He's, you know, getting brave now that he's getting bigger. No problem at all. Brings us to Scout number one, who is incapacitated, therefore isn't doing anything. I should really put him on hold, shouldn't I? Because <laughs> he can't act. Brings us to Aki. Can I see any of these geese in the trees? You can't see any geezers in the trees. Also, you're slightly uh, You're just distracted when Sassafras knee lands on top of you. Hello, Sassafras. <laughs> Don't you like that tree? It's raining gnomes. Hallelujah. I guess we'll see you next fall. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's terrible. <laughs> so terrible I'm giving everyone a penny I loved it 
going on hold. Okay. Uh, Gastus, you are no longer shaken. Shut out from over there. Let's uh, make my way through some cover. Uh, I shall go. Zeke. You haven't got the pace to get to the top. You can get halfway. You can get two thirds of the way up. We don't have anybody in this campaign that can turn into a dragon and just fly us all up there. That's, that, is, <laughs> that is a two inches high standing jump. The yeah, but it's, it's, three, it's three inches to the top of the cliff. Right, fair enough. What I, I said what was that, been... I said that was, I said that, that was what, I said that, that's one inch, that's fine, two yeah. inches, and that's three inches. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. In fact, you can see it's three inches because if you look over there, there's three levels. One, mm. two, and three. And Majenko. So, yeah. Well, fly over here. Okie dokie. Majenko's already flying above the cliff level anyway because they're plus, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you jump and you grab hold halfway up. So you're fine. Yeah. You think you think um, you can clear it and then you realise you're not, but you manage to dig in and you're hanging onto the side of the cliff. Across. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Regenco can't really do an athletics uh, yeah. trick against a hidden enemy by no. assaulting and trying to distract them, can't you? Unfortunately, well, you need to know where they are, unfortunately. Yeah. No worries. Uh, I am going to fire two arrows straight, pretty much straight down at the uh, at the uh, cat person that's getting very close to my tree. Can you even see me with all my stealthiness? Oh, Being good point. Cast the extra stealth. Yeah, but you're shouting so loud, they, they, can, they can hear you. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> overcompensating for something I don't need to. Make a stealth roll. You should definitely don't need to overcompensate. Sorry. So make a stealth roll, because I forgot to make you, get you to make one earlier. Technically, I don't think you can move fast to be stealthy, actually. Stealthy has to be quiet. Minus two, because you're doing it quickly. Yeah, yeah, go on, stuff check at minus two, I agree. Yeah, they did see you. We'll definitely Benny that. <laughs> they did see you. Of course we did, Tavis. We can roll better than this. One more thing. <laughs> Benny at it. I'll accept the loss if it doesn't. Be... Well, come on, roll something that's not a three, please. Thank you. Right. Uh, so I need to make a notice check. So you, otherwise, actually, I'll. I didn't need to put the minus two into that. That's actually a six. That's fine. Yeah, because I'm okay, a... I take it back then. You're not hit because they didn't spot you moving stealthily at speed. I will allow. I Thank will you. on that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, you've got a stealth of six. So if I'm trying to look for you, they'll make it. Obviously, he won't spot you. The other one might see you, but that's fine. So I won't shoot you. I will shoot Adius instead. Which because of the shrouding misses. Uh who definitely those arrows definitely came from the tree right to your northwest though. I've already been told Lear is climbing that tree. <laughs> Uh, Aki's still on hold, doing anything. Are you staying on hold for this to start the new round? I might as well do something. Um... <gasps> I request an interrupt. Good lord. What can I do that's going to be useful to you lot getting battered by a. See elemental manipulation. Why haven't we got the mega power modifier where I can just have a minus two to all traits of enemies in an AOE as big as the map? Because OP is Pathfinder is, it's not as OP as Rifts. It's not powered enough here, is it? 
Well, oh, I'll put it another way. Every bad guy I ever had would do it to you lot. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that in the... I'm going to start doing that to you lot. Yeah, don't worry. Because it's, so, it's such a useful thing to have, isn't it? Yeah, elemental manipulation. Can I just, if I do elemental manipulation, does it become active on me like like telekinesis? Yeah, it stays for five rounds. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna just give myself elemental manipulation and start uh, moving leaves around. Druids Tele do. Telekinesis is an OP power. And cease is gonna. Uh, have they climbed up that cliff over there, have they? They are climbing the cliff, yes. Oh, sorry, that's going to be me running this. Sorry, wrong button. Gonna get up there. Do you need to do an athletics roll or something? Uh, this won't make it to the top. It'll be two thirds of the way up, and it will be an athletics check. Okay. Fails here full. Full back flip on your ends at the top. Wait, he's too, he's you you see that you see that. He's all, you see that ledge that's just underneath the top level? That's where he gets to. Okay. That's the end Thumbs of my go. Dookie dookie. Uh, and then the new round begins. Uh, with Sassafras. It is shaken, but it didn't do it. So you, uh, because I manually moved it onto you, it didn't do the uh, spirit check. So you get to make, make a spirit check to see if you unshake. Did it roll cards again? It didn't, did it? It, no, I, I did a new turn before I remembered you were on hold. I actually clicked new turn rather than letting it cycle manually, which is what I have. So, yeah, yeah Sassafras yeah, automatically unshakes, even though you had to roll it manually. <laughs> no, I'm sure she wants to try climbing that again, though, because we've got a GM that jinxes her, but she's going to be <laughs> young. Hey, I'm not, I'm, oh, shake it off, shake it off. If you wait, I could teleport you up there. Well, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make the climb, apparently. So I'm just going to wait right here. And... At least, this time, at least this time, all that happened is basically you grabbed hold of some more of the rock and it, it came loose and you basically were still on the ground so you didn't actually take any falling damage this time. And Rudy's going to be flying around seeing if he can spot out the archer and tag him for um, Leia. Make a notice check. Uh, no, he didn't spot anything, I'm afraid. Well, then he's just going to keep circling around looking. We've got a plus four bonus to hide because of the cover. Yeah, they're, they're in purpose built hides, and that's so that, and their stealth check meant the six wasn't enough, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, that gets us to Volker, who's two thirds of the way up the cliff. Okay, let's finish climbing up the cliff. What's no, your one inch no. movement? <laughs> oh, said, you won't fall. Let's you won't finish fall. climbing up the cliff. <laughs> You won't fall. You'll just spend all your time trying to work out how to get up there and realise that you can't do it from here. But uh, yeah, no, you're fine. You clamber up. That's an inch of movement to get you to the top of the cliff. Uh, and then I will move to here and look around for the bad guys. Okay, that's a notice check. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Yeah, you fa you spotted him. And he's, wow, he's way up there, isn't he? Yeah. Um, you know what? Fine. You you go ahead and just be up there. Let's just throw a bunch of hearts at him. 
Show him your love. <laughs> Really? Successful casting, unfortunately, he's in heavy cover because, you know, he's way up a tree. <laughs> yeah, okay, a successful casting and a successful hit. <laughs> he's, I think he's falling out that tree, isn't he? Well, until he fell out of the tree, he was fine. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking that, actually. I was thinking exactly that, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> so that's another yeah. yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> and then I will move over here, since there's supposed to be somebody over there as well. Yep. Five to four, fine. It was the uh, encountering the ground on arrival that was the issue. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's always an issue, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brings us to Thaddeus. Uh, Thaddeus Power. <laughs> um. I didn't get a chance, but one of the scouts was would have run it would have run in the opposite direction of the cave in a desperate attempt to lead you away. Not that you would have felt. Yeah, like, it's all good. It's all good. So we'll go over here and we'll grab Sassafras. Okay. You can do launcher up there. And then we'll <laughs> launch us up there. Okay. So long. Successful casting oh, allows you to move up to twelve inches. To... Throw some kind of melee character in a fastball special. <laughs> so, um, we haven't found the other guy yet, have we? You haven't. So, uh, can we go there, please? Certainly. Well, the one I'm going for. The bloody wall. There you go. Yep, so I'll bump. And then um, Vendara at the back will say, Yes, use the orb of dragging summoning to burn the whole forest and kill everybody. <laughs> so it's an intimidation check. Ooh. Oh, he just made it. Right, so he, it basically deduced that she was bluffing. <laughs> but Gastus didn't. So the reason she fails is, is Gastus as he's flying up to Clint. Shouts out, We have one of those. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> okay, Gastus, you're up. You're two thirds of the way up the cliff. You heard a very loud thump just now. <laughs> so Gastus, with a, with a single pull of his arm, flips himself up onto the top, moves next to this guy, and waves over Argenia. He comes over and heals him. He'll still have his permanent injury because that was permanent. But he's going to come to with Gastus's rapier pointed at his throat. What the hell, old boy? He hasn't got a permanent injury, has he? He just basically was going to heal or he's bleeding out. Uh, injury's permanent. Oh, oh, yeah. Roll on the injury table. I, di I didn't roll on the injury table is what I didn't do. Let's find out. Uh, injury table. I'm on the injury table for him. Yeah. Wouldn't mind telling me who hired you to hit that caravan, would you? Don't know if I get any further bonus in the situation, but.
Give it a whirl again. Oh no, it's there. I put it on the wrong one. <clears throat> right, so he's no longer incapacitated. He's no longer bleeding out. But he is prone. But he is prone, and you, you've got that there. Um... He doesn't say anything. Right, now he's dead. And I'll ask his other friend later. Okay. <laughs> Get a chat. Just a layer. Climbs a tree. Yes. Can I get to the hide platform thingy? Well, you sniffed him out, so you should be able to climb the wall. I don't know how high up it is. You successfully climb up the final inch of movement. You could then make a notice check. It's there's a few trees. There's yeah, you know, there is hang on, how many trees are there? Character. One tree. Ah! No, you can't see them, I'm afraid. In okay. fact, actually, oh. actually, no, I'll say, actually, you think you see something and you realise that... Uh, Climb and, the wrong tree. And you start climbing the wrong tree, yeah. <laughs> I'll put you right. on the wrong tree. I'll redress that issue next turn. Yeah. I'll, I'll be nice. You didn't get, you only got, you've only got six feet off the ground up the wrong tree. <laughs> and you start climbing the wrong That's tree. very kind. Because you saw, you definitely saw some movement over there, and decided, ah, oh, there you are. You start climbing it. Squirrel, isn't it? Yeah, going <laughs> be a squirrel, yeah. <laughs> okay, Majenko, hiding in the house, unless he wants to do anything. Um, if any of our team are injured, he'll go help them out. Is that an injury on on Sassafras? Sassafras is hurt. Majenko won't. Re Majenko's only got flight pace eight. Don't forget, so. Well, eight towards Sassafras then. Yeah, yeah she just got really scraped up badly. She was trying to climb the cliff and, you know, didn't do so good because the GM jinxed her. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us to Aki, who so seems to. Aki was. Thaddeus and, uh, Thaddeus and uh, Sassafras were standing right next to you and then they just left you behind when they teleported somewhere. Well, booger. <laughs> I mean, can I walk up here? Can I climb up here? Is this as much of a trick? I don't know. Uh, that would be eight inches in total. Um, but does it? He doesn't suffer from difficult ground, or does he? It's vertical, so you've got to. It's just athletics checks to climb it. Simple athletics check to climb it, and eight inches of vertical move. Mu uh, three inches of vertical, five inches of horizontal movement to get you to there is what I'm trying to say. It's an athletics check to climb it, no problem at all. Yeah, it's the eight inches of movement that's the hinder the problem, isn't it? Your pace of five. Pace of five. So uh, okay, so um that's three inches that's three that's uh four inches to there. So one more inch would get you to there. That's that's your movement. That's that's your full pace as you clamber up. Oh, just run. So what is it? Athletics, you say? Oh, that was just running. Okay, yep. Yeah. So seven inches will get will get you two thirds of the way up that cliff. Uh, <laughs> except of course, actually no, it doesn't. You, you don't. You don't. I'll be nice. You didn't grip foul, so you failed to climb the first cliff. Yeah, you spent your whole turn trying to clamber up, but you just don't find anywhere that allows you to get higher. No. Oh. Cat's climbing up. Yep, and cat's only got one inch to go. That's uh, two inches to get to there. What are they doing after that? What tree is the where is this thing up in the top of? Uh, What's uh, layers just started climbing that tree? I don't know. Oh, yeah, but Leia's looking at a squirrel. I've heard, I'm, 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 uh, seems to make a notice check. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> like that implication. Uh, you cease can smell that there's someone nearby, but you can't see them. 
and your sense of smell isn't good enough to locate exactly where they are, if you know what I mean. You know they're either up or up. These cats have got a terrible sense of smell, aren't they? <laughs> it's not that. A sense know, of smell gives you a general direction. It doesn't... It's not as good as Leah's sense of smell, because she's a vampire. Yeah, cats, yeah. cats smell terrible. <laughs> Their breath smells really bad, yeah. Depends what they've been eating. If 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 the if the bandit archer had clambered around in this area to get up the tree from where you are, you could track it. I'm not denying that. The point is they 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 didn't take the shortest route to the trees. They take roundabout routes in case people Beast try is to track just them. Take a wild guess and go up that tree there. Okay. Well, you've moved two inches so far. What's Cece's pace? Eight. Eight. So two inches to there. So Cece will get. Uh, to uh, uh, three inches up this tree, so Cease will get basically one inch below. Yeah, the band is definitely above you, see somewhere, but you haven't reached him yet. You can smell him, he's definitely up the tree and he's above you, but you can't see him. You can smell him. Hmm. Oh, the archers, the, uh, the arch, the archer that uh, <laughs> Castor stabbed is, is not dead, he's just still bleeding. The other arch is going to get a bit concerned here. I think I'm going to have to try something drastic and to go with shooting two people. That not work. Uh, let me scroll it up a bit to there, and then give. There we go. Cease is in the tree, so it gets cover. Shoot Cease and Thaddeus. Shot. Unfortunately, Thaddeus and Cease have been shot. Thaddeus and Cease have been shot. Cease is uninjured. Thaddeus takes an arrow to the torso. Me? <laughs> takes an arrow to the torso. That oh, does hurt at the moment. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. Yes. <laughs> it's, could yeah. Have worse. Could have been yeah. worse to me than an arrow to the knee. So. Okay. There we are. An arrow to the torso for Thaddeus. And that, I think, I'm afraid, Type has called us up. So, yet again, we're going to have to end mid-fight. But there's only, as far as you know, there's only one archer left to deal with. So, hopefully, next time, he'll be able to, be able to deal with them. And I've got, I've managed to build, build, buy myself some more time to finish doing prep work. Doing, doing some fixes and prep work on next week's, on the next book. But I'm hoping you're enjoying it. We should leave it there until next time. Trippers. Oh, just before Mr. we do, Thaddeus. Did you slip on a twig? <laughs> that Okie dokie. <laughs> Thaddeus takes no wound and is not shaken. Hmm. Thaddeus slips on a twig. But we shall leave it there. Um, I think it is. Rippers this no, did we do Rippers last Sunday? I can't remember. We just did Rippers, didn't we? It's Rippers Sunday week. I'm forgetting when I've done my own Rippers games now. So I'll Rippers see you. this Sunday. Yeah, this next Sunday is Rippers week. It is yeah, Rippers, yes. Because it is, we didn't yeah. do one this week. I'm like because I was expecting a whisper from him. I'm like, where's he? Oh of course. No, of course. I, I went I drove I drove down to see my parents. So yes, it's Rippers this Sunday then. Um well, I think you're still dealing with uh, the headless woman in the opera house. Yes, she won't last long. And she won't. You we'll chop her head off. <laughs> so we'll leave it there. Take care, one and all. See you next time.